All right, for this tutorial, you're going to need looking straight, 29 degrees up, 45 degrees up, 90 degrees down, 45 degrees down. On top of that, you're also going to need walk backwards, back left, back right, forwards, forward left, forward right, left, and right. Once you export it to Unity, check if you have the avatar. If you do not have an avatar, like I don't, go to Rig, create from this model, apply, wait for this to load, and at the bottom, you have yourself your own avatar. We're going to be using that as we're going to create avatar mask, close one lower. Lower body and then transform, grab your avatar, import skeleton, toggle all off, and only toggle on the bonus that you wish for this control, this avatar controller to control. For me, it's a lower body, so it would be tail going down. To get the children ticked as well, hold ALT and click. Every single child of that parent would get ticked as well. Then do the wall again. Avatar mask, upper body, transform, avatar, import, toggle wall off. There we go, there we go, and, and. Yourself an animated controller. Okay, a new layer. I'm going to call upper body. Lower body. Click on the little gear shift. Find the respective one and here as well. Set the weight to 1. Now, the upper body, create a new blend tree. Pull up this. Add 5 for your upper body. Add it in your animations. Uncheck the box and have the number be the opposite of themselves. 90 will be negative 90, 45 will be negative 45, 0 is 0, etc. There. And now you should have a smooth motion. You just see from the side. Lower body. Great. New blend tree. Open up this. Set this. Change from 1D. 2D directional. And add 9 as we're going to have 9. Add your animations as follow forward, left, forward, forward, right, left, mid, right, back, left, back, right. Next, set the forward, left to negative 1 and 1. Forward to 0 and 1, forward right to 1 and 1, left to one, negative 1 and 0. Do that for all the animations. Alright, we need a parameter. Float x, float y. Parameters x, y. As you can see, now it's working. Now it's moving just the way you want it. Alright, here I have is a basic camera character controller. You won't need all of it. All you will need is this, these three lines. These two lines of code to get the position of the camera. 
a reference to the camera and the animation. That's that's literally it. Now I am using a I'm using a cinema machine camera. I'll show you how that works. I'll show you how, uh, how the code is it interacts with the camera. And yep, everything's working. I'm able to move forward in any directions I wish. And yeah, and you do not need the cinema machine camera. I'll I have made a camera for for a long time ago. And let's see if that works. Follow the player. Check the camera. Yep, that works. It's going up and down. Side to side, moving in all directions. As I said before, this just gets the position of the camera. If you want the rest of the code, these, these two, uh, for, uh, to keep the player in, pl uh, in place and have them move along the, the direction the camera is facing. If I was to comment these, comment these out, the animation would still work. However, the player will no longer move. As you see, the animations are still working. She is able to move in any direction. But she is not moving. Well, she's like. The animation is playing, but she's not moving. But everything is still working. 